This video is part of a collaboration with Mox Team Zirconia. To learn more about them or to view the original decklist, please look for links in the description below. Hey guys, Garrett back for Sableye the Mind Sculptor with another deck tech. As I'm sure you know from our very, very perfect and informative voiceover that I uh, just played, this deck was passed to me by Mock Team Zirconia, and I encourage you to check them out. So what is this list? This is Eldrazi Aggro. Uh, we're in Rakdos colors, so black-red. Uh, but there's also a little bit of specific colorless and a lot of, you know, just general colorless. So I'm going to go through the creatures. They're probably the most important part of any aggro deck. So I'm just going to work from the bottom of the curve up, starting with Bomat Courier as a 4-off. So Bomat Courier is a 1-1 haste that whenever it attacks, you get to exile a card face down. And then you can pay red and sacrifice the Bomat Courier to discard your hand and get the exiled cards. Uh, this card is great for building up just a little bit of card advantage in the late game. You can get sometimes three or four cards off of it, and uh, in the tiny bit of testing that I have done, I have found that uh, you do get empty-handed in this deck, and that this card really does help with that. Uh, where it is bad is when they have a Thraven Inspector on turn one, and they just wall it. Whatever, that's not every matchup. Moving on up, we have two Bearer of Silence. Uh, this is just a pseudo-removal creature. Comes in, and you can pay one and a specific colorless to cause an opponent to have to sacrifice a creature, and then it's just a 2-1 flying that can't block. Moving on, we have Eldrazi Mimic, a 2-1 for 2 that becomes the power and toughness of any colorless creatures that you play. Uh, this can be very strong with some of the uh, more expensive creatures, moving on. Uh, next we have a play set of Forerunner of Slaughter, which is black-red for a 3-2 Devoid creature, with one target colorless creature gains haste until end of turn. So this card is great. It just makes every other threat in your deck that much faster. And another cool thing about it is that it says target colorless creature, not another target colorless creature. So you can play it on turn three as a 3-2 haste if your hand is suited for that. Moving on, we have four Scrap Heap Scrounger. This is just a very good threat. Even when you're not playing to specifically set it up, creatures die all the time. And so there's almost always something for you to sacrifice for it. It never feels good to waste a removal spell on one of these guys, so um, it's, it's very good. It's a play set in this deck. Moving on, at the three drop slot, we have four Flare Drones, which is a 3-1 first strike. Whenever another close creature enters the battlefield under your control, target opponent loses one life. Uh, this card is... It's, it's, it's to give the deck reach. I, I'm not 100% sold on it, but... Um, the times that I have gotten it out, it's done work, so can't really say I'm too unhappy with it. Also, it is sneakily good that it is a 3-1 first strike, as a lot of creatures in this format have 3 toughness and no combat ability. So it will kill Sylvan Advocates, it'll kill Spell Queller, you know, anything that is small that tries to block it, it will kill before they can hit it back. Archangel Avacyn, of course, gets out of its reach, and a lot of the larger Eldrazi's do, but... It's just very good at going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of creatures. Uh, moving on, we have four Vile Aggregate, which is a star five for three that has its power and toughness is equal to the number of colorless creatures you control. And it also has Trample, so this will usually end up being about three or four power Trample creature for three. Then we have four Weapons Craft Enthusiast, another card I'm not really that sold on. It is a zero one for three with Fabricate two. And yeah, I can't say I'm sold on this. It works well with the... Vile Aggregate in the Flare Drone, though, so that's why it's in the deck. And lastly, we have two Voldaren Pariah as the top end. Uh, more on this card later, but it's basically not in the deck at this point. The lands, we have four Aether Hub, no surprise. Two Corrupted Crossroads, which I've actually bumped up to three in my final version of the deck. Uh, this is a Fixing Land for Eldrazi that will allow you to add one specific colorless or pay life and add one mana of any color only to cast a spell with Devoid. So this is this is very on and off. Uh, one thing is that it, well, it does help you cast colorless creatures. If the ability of the colorless creature has colored mana in it, it can't activate that. So it's, it's kind of iffy. Uh, four Foreboding Ruins, because of course, five Mountains, two Ruins of the Orin Reef, which is questionable, uh, but I think two is about the right place for it. And then six Swamps. Uh, lastly, we have our removal package, which is Three outnumber. Uh, we basically decided, they basically decided that this is slightly better than Galvanic Bombardment in this deck. Uh, I'm probably going to test with both of them and just switch off every so often uh, and try to figure out which one works better for me. 
and then for unlicensed disintegration because we do have artifacts and if you do then unlicensed disintegration is literally like murder plus a uh, lightning bolt which is very good uh, and I think this is a huge card for any red black aggressive decks so that's the deck that they gave me and the first thing they told me was take out Voldar and Pariah so right now I took out Veldar and Pariah and I added in two Reality Smasher instead because Reality Smasher is just a great card and we also have um, eight different colorless lands to get it into play with. So it's usually usually able to happen, uh, especially as a two-off and it just ends games very hard to kill. Amazing card in my humble. They also didn't give me a sideboard. So here's my sideboard. Okay, so starting off, we have three copies of Transgress the Mind. This is for the combo -y decks, or even Delirium decks, you can take the Emrakul. So, a uh, very good card against them. Then I have two copies of Lost Legacy, which is... I, I understand why it's got downsides, but I really do like it in this meta. Then we have four Incendiary Flow to kill recursive threats from decks like Zombies. Uh, three Collective Defiance, because it's good against mid-range decks, kills something, deals three damage. Very, very much a got there card, in my opinion. Then we have a single copy of To the Slaughter, because sometimes you need To the Slaughter. And lastly, two Keys to the City for any matchups where they put out a whole bunch of blockers early on. Uh, so that's the deck. Uh, this is one that I'm actually going to be doing slightly differently in the deck techs, because I'm going to start by playing this deck as it is, but then every game I'm probably going to make a small change to it, and when I'm done with the deck, I'm going to make another deck tech for it with the deck that I end up with. So tell, tell me in the comments if you think that's a good idea, or if you think that's the worst idea ever. Uh, I think it's kind of a fun, fun way to format my videos from now on. And um, one last thing before I go, I have an outro now. Uh, crucify me if it's bad, uh, and uh, don't if it's good. I don't care. Uh, anyway, hope you like it. Peace out.